Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some tips for you today, but we're on something new. We are on Next Gen. This is our first Next Gen gameplay. It's going to be our first Next Gen uh, tip video. So if you guys want to see, I'm not sure if I want to stick with Next Gen going forward or if I want to go back to the old game. So you guys got to let me know in the comment section. Or hit the like button if you guys want to see me stick to the Next Gen stuff for a while. I'd like to do some Next Gen stuff. Obviously, there's some new opportunities. But to me, the game hasn't really changed too much. So number one, if I were to say one of my first tips, by the way you have to actually download the optimized version i did not know that right away i just popped it in and started playing and i was like wow this feels exactly the same it's because it was so make sure you download the updated version you also can't continue an event if you started it on the old version you can't continue it on the new version so that's one of the reasons why i need you guys to let me know which console to stick with which version to stick with because once you go into an event you have to basically end the event there which is totally annoying but uh like i said let me know in the comment section which one you want me to do uh other than that i mean there's awesome the load times for games are awesome they're super quick this is this is real time right here i just took like literally five seconds to get into a game um i really can't understand why this is so bright though like the coloring is like way off look at like sean taylor's card like you can't even make anything out because it's so bright which is totally stupid um it's it's that way with all the cards you can see now this first game i get it i guess i get a, a guy who just got it for christmas uh I'm not, i promise you this first game is not going to last very long but one of the first things that's definitely the weirdest is the play calling screen at first i didn't even really know how to like get out of the, the the picking place i still don't know how to do certain things and i'll go over that in the game but i still feel like the best defense in this game is still the cover three cloud i'm going to be using throughout this gameplay the exact same defense is pretty much that i use um in last gen so as far as the tips go as far as the money plays go i haven't really noticed a huge difference as my first opponent here makes the exact same mistake that most people do expecting this guy to be open and, gotcha, and it's the same interception i've gotten that a million times people, everybody makes that mistake thinking that's an open receiver um uh, but i'll put a link in the description below for the full breakdown of that defense if you didn't catch it other than that the play calling on the offensive screen just feels really off I, I can't i don't really like it to be honest with you it starts you off with coaching suggestions which like you know i just kind of picked something they offered here because i didn't even know where to begin so i just picked one of the running plays because i was like oh that looks pretty good but i typically never go with coaching suggestions that's not a good look the next play i figured out i go you have to hit the rb button to go over to formations uh and then you know i try to set up my audibles like i typically do but that feels a lot longer because you have to basically go down the line i mean the whole thing just feels kind of crappy but i've gotten used to it for the most part uh, and i still don't know how to to manually sub players i don't see the option underneath anywhere to manually sub players somebody let me know in the comment section how to manually sub players especially on defense because that's where it's like most important so as far as the gameplay goes i hit him with a couple run plays early on uh running is definitely one of the safest ways to go in next gen if you don't really know the reads uh, and i also feel like it's the most dominant where last gen i mean mostly i was a passer this one I really feel like I'm, I'm, I'm running a lot more which I feel like is important although my running back here I mean they just feel like they never really hit top speed or they accelerate he still got the touchdown but it never felt like he really was fast so that opponent's gonna hit the exits see ya moving on to the next game we get a little bit of a better opponent here uh, I still have the better team but my opponent's got Bo Jackson and he's got them all powered up too so this is definitely going to be a challenge on the defensive side i'm going to continue with the exact same three through five defensive scheme that I, I used in the first game on the first play um he's going to run the ball with bo jackson a lot like i said it's definitely one of the safer ways to go the first play though i mean i definitely gave him a lot of opportunity here and he's off to the races very first play bo jackson's taken off but turning's really not that good especially at high speed you can see my opponent here has a lot of trouble even with one of the better running backs in the game on the next play i'm going to switch it up and hit with my favorite run defense i just put this out in the video as well it's the four three six one uh cover four quarters I, I i like i said this is the best run defense in the game and i think you need good run defense in next gen uh so this is pretty much the setup all you really do is pinch defensive line and hard flat uh that's pretty much it and you're going to see how this defense is pretty shut down on the first play he doesn't get much nope um, he's going to go ahead he's going to run a hurry up uh which is fine by me because like i said i'm in my defense i'm in the defense that i need uh on the next play though he shows that you definitely have to use the right stick 
you want to change direction, you really got to be shifty with it. You got to use the juke buttons. As you can see, that's his best run uh, since getting that first big run. And then on the next play, we shut it down. I'm nope. not even guessing run at, at this point. Um, the next play, I guess he didn't like what he saw. He calls timeout. I guess he didn't want to see this formation again because I've been shutting him down. Then on fourth and goal, he's going to go for it anyway. Uh, he calls that run play one more time. Nope. And we just shut it down. We're just lights out. Like I said, that's the best run defense in the game. Check that out if you haven't seen that that video yet. Uh, other than that, I'm in a little bit of a bad spot, though. I'm backed up against the one. First play, I can't get out. Second play, I meant to call the Saints drag, but I, I don't know what happened. I accidentally clicked the uh, the quick screens. So then I get to the audibles, and I have to pick another play, uh, which the only thing, I didn't really even set my audibles because, like I said, I, I just feel like I don't have enough time. Uh, so I just take the penalty there because like, what's going to happen? I'm going to lose a yard. So then I finally get my play up that I want, that I want in the first place. Uh, and I fully expect uh, this Y route to beat this coverage because it looks like a cover two. Sure enough, he gets past it, but I pass lead in the pass leads are way more dramatic in this game than they are in last gen what i mean he was past that defense that probably should be a touchdown he didn't even result in a catch so back on the defensive side my opponent's still gonna run the ball i'm giving him problems with my user i mean i stuffed him a couple times so bo jackson definitely doesn't feel as overpowered as he should uh, but it is what it is. So my, so this defense is definitely doing its job. I get him to a third and ten. Even though he started off with great field position because of where I was. Uh, we're going to shut this entire series down. He almost had something here. I do feel like these zones do kind of turn slow sometimes. But it is what it is. Then on the next play, he's going to go for a fourth and ten. And he's going to try to take off. We're going to shut him down. So nope. there are still some pretty good defenses in next gen. I hear a lot of people complaining about the defenses. But without a doubt, we're having success. So on the next play, once again, just to show you how these pass leads are. I mean, this is this is not something that you typically would have completed on last gen as you can see i mean that was just a super tight window but i also think these defenders are super slow then on the defensive side i noticed a lot of people are coming out in small packages because they want more speed i mean that's the thing with defense it feels so slow it feels like players react really slowly so my opponent here looks like he's coming out in like a dollar or something i'm not even sure but he's just giving me these huge run lanes and i'm just going to take them i mean if he's going to come out in this i'm going to keep him in it. i'm going to hit that hurry up i'm just going to going to keep coming out pounding it and to be honest with you i do the same thing later in the gameplay where i'm coming out in really small defenses because i want more speed so on this next play though he gets a stop so you're gonna have to figure out ways to get stops even with small defenses like this i'm gonna run the hurry up one more time though you know i don't know what he's doing he's, he knows i'm running the ball but he refuses to call a timeout and changes the defense uh and then we just get an easy touchdown so you know i mean it is what it is so on the next play i mean we're on the three through five still I still feel like I can stop the run well with this. You can see my user comes through one more time. But ultimately, this defense is a bend but don't break uh, type of defense anyway. He almost busts another big run right there. I, I really thought he was going to get through on that one. Uh, but like I said, this is all about, I mean, I can stop the run pretty well. Um, and ultimately, I know I can stop the pass as, about as good as anything. So that's pretty much the game plan. Bend but don't break. Don't give up anything big. Uh, on this next play here, we should have got the sack there. That's total BS. I got Montez Sweat coming off that edge there. And he's been an absolute nightmare. Uh, totally cheap guy. I'm only using him because um, he's part of my Redskins uh, team chem uh, for Sean Taylor and Terry McLaurin is basically the reason that I went that route. But he's an absolute monster. So he's going down the field pretty easy here. Here on the next play, he just hits me with a, uh, I mean, these zone coverages a lot of times, they just don't turn very well. And computer defenders just don't react very well. You can see right here, I mean, he didn't even juke. Where you going? He literally just runs right at him, and the dude dumbs out. Like, it's like, I don't even know. Like I said, some of the defensive stuff's really broken. And that's also one of my best defenders on my team. Uh, on the other side, I mean, corner routes are really overpowered. Uh, corner routes didn't beat man in last gen, but they beat everything here. So, man zone. I would definitely say make attacking the corners one of the staples of your offense. On the next play here, I mean, I get a really easy one-play touchdown. That was by a mile. Um, I get tackled at the one, which is fine. I pretty much wanted to run clock anyway. And then on this next play, I mean, I'm just going to hit him with a fullback dive. You could tell he was run committing. He stacked the box. Didn't matter. Run defense really sucks. Even when you run commit like that, uh, that doesn't necessarily save you. In last gen, though, I do feel like it really bailed you out a lot here it does not so on the other side once again like i said i'm really going bend but don't break i mean he doesn't have a lot of time anyway he's still running the ball and then you can see i mean that juke is so important like i said in next gen last version i don't think anybody bothered to juke at all but this version you really have to on this next play you can see i'm in the cover three on this one side i got about eight yards of cushion i mean there's no reason that this defender should get beaten but the reactions for zones to flip their hips are so slow that for whatever reason he just gets right past Lattimore and beats him on an easy street. What the 
<laughs> now, Lattimore, I got him all juiced up. He's a 97 overall. He's one of the faster players on my team. There's no reason that should have happened other than the fact that the zone coverages and the defenses in this game are kind of broken. But it is what it is. So back on the offensive side, uh, we're just going to go ahead. We're just going to you know dink and dunk a little bit. And we have time. We have our timeouts. Uh, I'm trying to just go for a field goal here. On the next play, he's in a three deep. So I know that I, I mean, I'm just hitting him with two guys over the middle. Whichever one he follows, the other one's going to get open. Sure enough, he leaves the A route. So we got a wide open route here. Get so we're just going to go ahead we're going to take that nice safe catch and we're going to take an easy three uh to end the half so we're taking the lead we get ball after half as well he still has some time though he's going to be able to run one play i'm in a three deep myself i don't really expect him to do anything uh but on this next play just to show you how bad defenders react again look at that he just walks right around these guys this is lamar jackson he almost broke it I mean, he's literally just walking around defenders they don't react at all so on the first play of the second half, I'm basically just staring down this RB route. I'm expecting this running back just to get open in the flat. And I probably could have hit it, but I just didn't trust it. But then I also noticed that A route. If we rewind that back... I don't know if anybody else saw this, but this A route was just streaking wide open down the center of the field. I mean, he's like 20, 30 yards of separation right here. So I'm going to hit the hurry up. I'm hoping he didn't see that. I mean, I, I think that he did because you can see he kind of looks like he changed the defense. Although I can't really tell if that's just a baseline. Once the play starts, he tries to get back, but users are just too slow. You can't make up that ground like you used to be able to in last gen. You can't just uh, flip the hips and hit the guns and think you're going to catch up. Uh, and we get an easy one-play touchdown. Like I said, the separation wasn't nearly as big, so it makes me think maybe he did change the defense. I'm not entirely sure. But he almost heads for the exits. He calls timeout, thinking he's going to leave, but for whatever reason, I guess he realizes there's still a lot of time left, so he wants to play the game out a little bit. He, he just barely beats the cover two side or maybe it was a cover three side i'm not really sure but i'm still running this three through five defense this is without a doubt the most turnover heavy defense in the game he's going to try to hit me with this corner route one more time uh and it's just it's not going to work out it looks like he was open there for a second gotcha, but we got that interception coming back so we got another interception from this defense um corner routes definitely i mean to keep going with these tips though corner routes definitely beat man i said that earlier in the gameplay but i didn't actually show it uh, i was running a lot of man coverage when this game when i started playing uh, this next gen version um, uh, but these these corner routes just absolutely roast it, which in, in last gen, uh, they get covered. So that's something to remember. Those corner routes are definitely OP. And then we're going to work the, the ground game uh, quite a bit. This is a scheme that I put out earlier in the year. I'm in the Saints playbook, by the way, which I never even mentioned. But you can see, I mean, he's run committing. He's doing everything he can. He's stacking the box. It's not stopping anything. I expect a run commit on the next play, so I hit him with a RPO. And I almost take off with it, as you can see right there. I mean, we dip on that cornerback. Luckily, he uh, he got a guy. Luckily for him, anyway, he got a guy uh, that came over and stopped me. But like I said, he's run committing. These safeties are flying down the box. He's hitting the run commit pretty much every time, and it's still not stopping these run plays that's how good these run plays are uh which is one of the uh, reasons i like using the saints playbook they're actually one of the better running playbooks in the game i actually like running with them more than I like passing with them and then you can see i'm going to start getting shifty with these run moves like i said i mean the, the juke move is really the most important move in this game as far as i'm concerned you can see on this next play I mean, if you want to change direction they feel really slow but if you hit them with jukes it just seems to open it just seems to find space and it just seems to dumb out defenders a lot easier as well as we punch it in with the fullback uh for the second time in the game patrick Sherman getting involved uh, and then on the defensive side this is a defense I'm actually messing around with that I might put out soon it's, it's a different version of cover three cloud out of the dime normal uh, I, I mean I'm really just looking for something with speed get more speed on the field in the three through five because if my opponent had wants any opportunity to come back he's pretty much got a pass and you can see this defense sets up very similar uh, to the other uh, particular defense and then we're gonna go ahead and get a nice uh, user pick right here uh, I mean, still, you know, like I said, the defense that I'm messing with might be uh, in an upcoming video pretty soon, I think, uh, for next gen. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see uh, more gameplay, more next gen tips like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.